What have I been up to in my free time? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and I am giving you guys a little bit of a glimpse of what I kind of have been up to in my free time for basically the last year and a half. I did put out a video about this about a year ago, a year and a half ago, um, what I was doing at the time, which, you know, it's kind of like, what do you do in your free time? I have been heavily involved in photography for the last year and a half, almost two years now. I don't know, a long time. I, I've actually been involved with photography um, what seems like all my life. I've always had a camera. I've always been really um, interested in it. And um, last year, I was actually able to afford, you know, like a decent DSLR camera and that was a, the Canon T5, which, you know, that's a great, you know, kind of starter camera for the DSLR um, series. But it wasn't enough for me. It just wasn't cutting it for me. Uh, I started doing a lot of, uh, like, pictures of sports activities, and that just wasn't wasn't cutting it. So I kept doing my research and kept trying to figure out what I could afford, and... I finally settled on the Canon 7D Mark II. That's this bad boy right here. This is the 7D Mark II from Canon, and this is basically like my pride and joy right here. Um, it's not a Canon lens on there though. This is the, this is the Tamron uh, 7200 lens, which is comparable pretty much to the Canon 7200 lens. Um, and I love this thing. I do a lot of sports photography. I go to every single uh, home game for our football team in town. Been to a few away games too. And I take all of the pictures for the parents and for you know the high school as well. And I cover a lot of the different sports for the high school also. I've done volleyball and soccer. I will be doing uh, wrestling, basketball, and baseball coming up too. So the uh, Canon 7D Mark II is the ideal camera definitely for sports. Um, Budget-wise, you know, it's, it's it's a little bit pricier, I guess, as far as cameras go, and especially, um, you know, if you want to get into f photography, especially sports photography, the 7D Mark II, definitely uh, an amazing camera for sure. It's no 1DX, no 1DX Mark II. Hopefully I can afford one of those one day because those cameras are amazing. But uh, this camera is definitely like i said uh, it's it's great and you know what makes it great especially again it's a basically built for sports and the reason why is right here i'm gonna let you guys listen you guys should be able to hear it so and then I hit the buffer but so 10 frames a second that's basically what it hit you know it's amazing and don't get me like you cannot get every single picture. Even when you're shooting them that fast, not every single one's going to be in focus. I wish that you, they could be, but it's not. So um, it's, it is, it's absolutely an amazing camera. Pictures are sharp, so incredibly sharp. And that definitely helps with the lens. You know, the lens is definitely a, a huge part of your sharpness in your pictures, of course. And if you're a photographer or you're into photography, you know that. But, uh, the body, for sure, A+, plus, number one, recommend. I've been doing so much photography lately. Um, that's just been keeping me so incredibly busy. And I love it. I love it. It's, I, I feel like it's an, another nerdy thing for me just to kind of get into photography, 3D printing, and being in IT in general. It's kind of like all around, just like nerdness, you know. And I totally nerd out over photography stuff. So, um, this is my main camera. And again, I could not say better things about this thing. Um, I just love it. I do. All right, anyway, um, for my backup, I just have this little bad boy right here. Uh, this is the Canon uh, Rebel SL1. It's got a really small body. Uh, it's, it's tiny. It's like seriously a tiny body. It's, it just feels like you're holding a little baby camera, especially when you compare it to like the, the 7D Mark II. You can't kind of see the the comparison there don't look don't pay attention to the lenses just pay attention to the bodies there um they are bigger you know if you were to put this up against the 1dx the 1dx body is much bigger than this body so 
I could put all three of those together, you could definitely see a huge difference in the body sizes there. But um, the SL1 is my backup camera. Uh, just because it's small, I like it, it's convenient. Uh, it does not have the uh, speed of the Mark II. Here you go, you can listen to this. There you go, that's, that's how fast this thing shoots. So not made for sports, which is okay. I don't, you know, I wish I had another backup camera that was made for sports, but, um, you know, this one does just fine when I'm on the sidelines and I just want to get like a shot of players that are up close and I don't have to worry about getting an action shot. This one just has the uh, 2470 Tamron lens, uh, which again, that's very comparable to the Canon lens of the same, same type. So I really like Tamron. It's a lot more affordable than the Canon lenses and they produce great quality images. I love, 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 love Tamron. So, um, can't go wrong there. But the, uh, the SL1 produces great pictures also. The body, great. Um, I've done actually a lot of videos from the SL1 too. Uh, it produces really good videos. And, um, again, the picture quality is great. Uh, just the size of it is amazing. Again, you can't really, the lens is just kind of big and fat, but you know, the body's just great. I, I just love, I love having this thing in my hand sometimes, uh, just because it makes it really easy when I'm like kind of walking around and trying to get a quick shot. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything too big and bulky and trying to get my, you know, fingers all over the place on something. So, um, the SL1, it's a great camera and this one's cheap. This the SL1 is really, really cheap. Um, I actually bought the, the SL1 refurbished and it was like 300 bucks or something like that. Um, I bought it refurbished off the Canon website because I trust Canon and I like Canon. Huge Canon fan. So the SL1 been phenomenal for me, especially as a backup. I'm hoping soon to get the Canon 1DX. Not the Mark II because I can't afford that one, but I want to get the 1DX because the low light on it is much better taking pictures in low light is much better than the Mark II, and if I'm going to be doing a lot of basketball and wrestling and things like that, I'll definitely probably want to have the 1DX over the Mark II just for that little bit of a boost in, uh, you know, quality. So, uh, I'll eventually be getting rid of this probably, which is fine. I don't mind. I'll have the 1DX and a Mark II. It's like a photography's dream right there. Especially if you like sports. I love sports photography. That's just like my whole thing lately, for sure. I do a lot of family sessions and st stuff like that. It's not that I don't enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it as much as sports. So this is what I have been up to in the last year. And this is kind of, I guess, maybe a quick review on Canon equipment. It's great. And Tamron equipment, because it's great too. Um, I'm not going to give you like a detailed, like, you know... Oh, you know, this is a 2.8 lens and, um, whatever. Yeah, it's good. That's all you guys need to know. It's good stuff. I like to use it. And, uh, that's all. So, <clears throat> this is what I've been up to for the last, you know, I don't know, year, year and a half. Can't get focused on this thing. It's way too close. It's like crazy close. I just love that. That's just so, so awesome. Bam, 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 bam. Anyway, that's this video. This is going to be a random video that I'll throw up sometime when I need to fill some content. So anyway, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and Fat Finger Photography. That's the name of my photography business. Check that out. I do 3D printing there too. And that's it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Leave comments. Hit that like button. I know you guys probably don't care about photography. You just want IT stuff. So, anyway, thanks for watching. As always, take it easy.